Yes, we are emergency. We are depressurized. We do need to return back to. We have 177 passengers. This was the scene just minutes after Air Alaska flight took off from Portland in Oregon. A huge hole blown in the fuselage of the plane, 16,000 feet up in the air. The cabin lashed by wind in videos posted on social media as the plane made an emergency landing. Thankfully, none of the nearly 200 people on board were seriously harmed. Everything was normal until I just heard the boom. I'm not really sure exactly what happened, but parts of the wall were also flying everywhere. I just couldn't believe my eyes. Like, I couldn't believe there's a gaping hole, and you can see the city and the stars and everything just outside of the window. It was crazy. Passengers described how a teenager's shirt was ripped by the force of the air. And the mother was holding on to him, and she said her son's cell phone and some stuff blew out of the plane, and there was stuff blowing around back where they were because they were back where the wind was. On the ground, the extent of the damage was clear. This Boeing 7379 MAX was just two months old. It features a rear cabin door behind the wings, but these are permanently deactivated on Alaska Airlines. This model of aircraft can have um, an emergency exit where that hole appeared. Um, and it, it, it wasn't an option that the airline chose. It's a door that would have been locked into place or bolted into place. The big question is, how come it was not structurally sound? Alaska Airlines has now grounded all of its Boeing 7379 MAX planes while it carries out an investigation, looking for an answer to what caused this very close call. Milena Veselinovic, Sky News.